those of you who put pressure on your knees while wrestling, or doing jujitsu, or at work, like construction or carpeting, probably have had to deal with this problem, or at least know somebody who has. There's swelling at the front of the knee, it's tender. There's sometimes swelling all the way down the leg, and it just does not go away. This video is talking about pre-patellar bursitis. Pre-patellar bursitis is very common, with one study showing that up to 10% of carpet layers and coal miners get it. It is definitely common in grappling sports as there is frequent impact and shearing forces placed on the front of the knees. I'm going to talk about what a bursa is, how and why it becomes a bursitis, and we'll talk about why some areas are more likely to get bursitis. And then we will talk about the specific treatments for pre-patellar bursitis. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, trying to be a reliable source of information about these common injuries. I treat them as an orthopedic surgeon, and I've had many of them as I've been in the game as a combat sports athlete for some time. These issues often come up outside of combat sports, but I like to use combat sports as a reference as it is an extreme of what we put our bodies through. So first, the anatomy. A bursa is a fluid filled sac that provides cushion and reduces friction between tissues that have to move past each other in our bodies. We have many bursae located throughout our bodies and they are located in areas where our bodies move the most, around the joints. The blood supply to these areas is not as good as with other body parts. The pre-patellar bursa is right in front of the patella or kneecap. It is in a position where it is right underneath the skin and on top of a very hard bone. Symptoms. What does it feel like? There is swelling and pain at the front of the knee. Often there can be swelling all of the way down the leg. Sometimes. There is significant warmth and redness. Usually, people can move the knee joint around pretty well until it is in deep flexion or bent. This causes pain because the inflamed bursa starts getting compressed. What causes this? Well, sometimes it's a single traumatic event that can cause this or a series of micro trauma or smaller events such as kneeling frequently or putting pressure and shearing forces on the front of the knee. Cuts at the front of the knee can cause bacteria to get into the bursa and often these cuts are not very noticeable. About one third of the time this bursitis is caused by an infection. Sometimes a doctor will suck fluid out or aspirate the fluid and test it to see. This has pluses and minuses to it which I will talk about in a moment. Treatment. The vast majority of patients respond well to non-operative management. This could include antibiotics, by mouth or IV, but always involves rest, compression, and padding. And there can be some anti-inflammatory medications as well. Some may offer a corticosteroid injection or for more chronic issues, an injection with something else like your own blood or chemical to try to make the bursa go away, but in my opinion, the fewer things that go in and out of the bursa, the better. Complications to certain treatments can be really bad. It often takes many weeks for symptoms to resolve, even in the most routine case. Patience is always part of this. Rarely, surgery may be necessary. This would be either for an infected bursa that does not respond to antibiotics or sometimes a chronically inflamed bursa that just keeps coming back. Surgery involves removing the bursa and can be done with one big incision, smaller incisions, or even through a small scope. Complications of treatment. This involves a whole important section. Sticking things into or taking things out of the bursa with a needle can introduce an infection if you're not careful. Also, it is an area that just does not 
heal well due to poor blood supply and lots of movement. This is why wound healing issues, scarring, and other skin issues, as well as persistent tenderness at the front of the knee are all possible if things do not go as hoped. So, with prepatellar bursitis, my opinion is that the best course of treatment is rest, padding, compression, and anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen. Sometimes antibiotics are necessary if there is an infection. The less needles that are stuck into the bursa, the better. But if done by a professional, it can be helpful to reduce swelling and make a diagnosis. Only, very rarely, is surgery necessary and this should be done with a high level of care and precaution by the surgeon. Complications from treatment can be worse than the underlying problem. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, board certified orthopedic surgeon. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe.